For this lesson, we're going to be making a six-part story. A six-part story uses prompts to create a mini comic book that follows the arc of a full story. Starting from square one, we will create a main character in an environment, a task for the main character, obstacles in the main character's way, things that help the main character, the climax or main action, how the character does or does not accomplish their task, and the aftermath or consequences. So on screen right now is Clip Studio Paint. It is a digital program perfect for sketching, painting, and animating, making comic books. Um, this is where we're going to be doing our six part story. So you can see I divided the canvas into six squares and each prompt that we reviewed earlier will be drawn into each square. So square one is a main character in an environment. For this particular demo, I decided to do a mermaid under the sea, but you can do any sort of main character you desire if you're doing this at home. It can be a human, animal, object, anything that can, can be your main character. For this particular demo though, I chose a mermaid. Um, you're gonna see me put some seaweed and waves around her just to give you the feel, I'm not really worrying about making the art look nice, but just giving the feel and the idea of where the story is taking place and who our main character is. Square two is a task with main character. This is where we're going to establish what the driving force for our character is. What is it that they're trying to achieve? What is it that the audience is going to be following along with? What is their journey going to be? For our mermaid in this story, I decided that her task would be something physical. Your task can be metaphorical as well, but in this case, it's going to be her wanting to go home. So I'm going to put a thought bubble next to her head and she's imagining her castle. So this is going to be the catalyst that's going to prompt the beginning of our story. Square three is obstacles in the main character's way. This is where we're establishing the conflict of our story. And a conflict can be something that is either internal or external. So something the character is internally dealing with or a external opposition to the character. It can be another person, society, an object. In this case, the mermaid, she gets caught in a net and this net is physically stopping her from reaching her goal of going home. Square four, things that help the main character. We now have our conflict established and we need to figure out how to overcome it. This is the rising action that is building up to the climax of the story. Now the rising action is usually a series of events that lead up to the climax of the story, but since we are doing a six part story, it's gonna be super short. I just decided to have the mermaid meet a piranha friend who is willing to help them get out of the net. Square five, the climax or main action, how the main character does or does not accomplish their task. The climax is a turning point of the story. So everything that's been built up from before is now reaching its peak or its apex. We followed our mermaid friend through her whole journey of deciding to go home, getting trapped in a net, meeting a companion along the way, and now she's about to overcome her obstacle by escaping the net. Square six, the aftermath or consequences. We have reached the resolution or the end of our story. So our mermaid friend is able to escape the netting and return back to her castle, which was her original goal. 
I kind of wish I had drawn her piranha friend so I'm back with her to the castle to show that she made some lasting friendships as well. But it's still fine. We have a nice little happy ending to wrap up our mermaid tale. And that is our six part story. This is an exercise you can do on your own time. You don't have to have a digital canvas for it. You can just take a piece of paper, fold it into six panels, use a sketchbook and just physically draw out each panel. This is just a fun way to create a cool little comic that tells a full arc of a story on a page. And you can explore the different archetypes we went over. So you can make a story that is a tragedy, comedy, a hero's journey. Our mermaid story is a quest because she embarks on a journey to get somewhere. I hope you learned something from this and happy creating! <laughs>